Hi, I'm Lam. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we are here to compare and contrast between the brand new Natasha Nona Mini Love Eyeshadow Palette and the Elf Light Size Eyeshadow Palette in Rose Water. Can't wait for you to hear all the tea about these. I am so excited because today, when I'm filming right now, is the day that my first ever beauty collab is up. Karis, who is the person that I'm collaborating with, his look is stunning. And for this Valentine's Day, we are talking about nothing but self-love. So if you have time, after this video, make sure to check out the description box below. I will link both of our videos for you to check out. I create this beautiful pinky, more colorful look, a little bit more bold than this look I have on right now. But yeah, make sure you check out Kara's channel as well. He is stunning and so funny and so genuine. And I am so thankful for our friendship. Can you guess which side? I'm wearing which palette? Sound off in the comment section below right now before I spill the tea. First of all, we are going to talk a little bit about each palette. We're gonna do some swatching and then I'll show you the demo and then you'll find out which eyes is wearing what. And then we'll get into the final thoughts. This is a brand new Natasha Denona Valentine's Day 2021 collection. It is inspired by the original love eyeshadow palette which was released last year on valentine's day i believe and it was 65 dollars 15 shades this one is brand new this year 25 us dollars for five shades and they are different from the original love palette but if you want to know more information specifically regarding this palette as well as a three looks demo. Check out my part one review of this palette. I'll link it down below. But this is part two because we are comparing this palette to an, a possible dupe or a possible alternative. Rose water mini eyeshadow quads. It's not mini. It's the bite side eyeshadow quads from e.l.f. I also have a review on this palette if you want to hear details and see demos check out that video. I'll link it down below as well. The e.l.f. obviously it only has four shades while the love, the mini love has five shades. They are pretty much very similar besides this one has a bright shimmery pink shade. I'm going to swatch this palette. I'm not gonna swatch the pink because it's not similar at all so we're not even gonna waste our time. rose water. I will try to go the same color range. On the top is the mini love. On the second row is the rose water. Highlight shades look very very close to one another. The highlight shade from the mini love is a little bit more bright this one from the e.l.f. palette is a little bit more pinky. Rose water palette, the darkest shade is a lot more pigmented and a lot more cool tone. This one now you can see is more like egg bland kind of color and it's not as deep. It's still pretty deep though. And then the matte, the two mattes are completely different. The matte from the rose water palette is a lot lighter and a lot more cool tone. This one from the Mini Love palette, you can see now is a little bit warmer and of course a lot more pigmented. This shade from the Tasha Denona is a lot more metallic and glittery, while the one from the Rose Water palette is a lot more classic kind of a shimmer shade. It's still pretty glittery, um, but it's not too junky. Um, they're a little bit flaky, they're a little bit thicker in formula. The one from the e.l.f. is a lot creamier though. This one feels to be a little bit more like a topper shade, which more, which has more shimmer and glitters than the base color, if you know what I mean. And the Natasha Denona is also a dual chrome, 
So when I turn it this way, you can see it's a bronze. When I turn it this way, it's a pink. They're not exact uh, shade to shade color wise, but let me show you the demo part. We will find out if they can look similar on the eyes. I think you can see right now, but let's show you a little bit of action first and then we'll be right back. I hope you enjoyed this side-by-side -side comparisons and if you guess that on this eye I'm wearing the e.l.f. rose water palette and on the other eye I'm wearing the Tasha Denona mini love then you are correct. Congratulations! On the swatches we all know by now they're not exactly the same by any mean. They are they seem to work well together. The colors seem to complement each other and they look like they can create a complete beautiful pinky mauvey palette to be honest. But now let's talk about the eye. You can see on the demo all of the shades in the Natasha Denona palette are a little bit darker except for the darkest shade. The eggplant shade is not as dark as the rose water one. The shade in the rose water quads looks almost like a black. Um, it does look on in the pan, it has a little bit of a shimmer, but when you put it on the eyes, you cannot really see any shimmers when you once you blended it out. When I blend it out to be a softer look like this, they look pretty much identical. The first shade that I use, which is the darkest shade in the two palettes, I find that the shade here in the e.l.f. palette is a lot easier to blend for some reason, is a lot more powdery. Secondly, I use the uh, matte shades in here. And in this case, the one from the Natasha Denona palette wins because it just has a little bit more pigmentation and it's a little bit, it's like four shades deeper than the Rose Water palette. So it shows up a lot better and more flattering on my skin tone, which is medium olive. The shade from the rose water, it, it looks very ashy and it doesn't really show up. The pinkish shade in here, this is a joy to work with you guys. It's so creamy, it's so beautiful and not too intensely pink. This one, um, which looks similar in the pan, but actually when you apply it on the eye, it doesn't really look the same. It's a lot more glittery and the glitters are duochromes and a lot deeper. So the these two shades are not matching. And finally, I use the highlight shades to highlight my inner corner. Um, and on this case, I add a little bit on the lid to make the duochrome shade a little bit lighter to match this eye. But I find the highlight shades in both palettes are very very similar on the eyes. They are just as creamy, just as pigmented, and just as beautiful. My final thoughts, I think this rose water palette is a great alternative to the mini love from Natasha Denona. It only has four shades, this one has five shades, but this is three US dollars, this is 25 US dollars. So the price is a lot better than the Love palette. The colors are not exactly the same, but they are very, very close. They play well with one another. They're both mauve pinky, neutral, cool, slightly colorful kind of color theme. So they're very similar. 
and formula wise I think they are very very comparable. This dark shade is even easier to blend out compared to the dark shade in Natasha Denona. They blend away a little bit but that's no problem. You just layer another layer on top of it and it will show up. It's just this color is too light for my skin tone. I think these are very comparable. This is a great alternative. If you have this palette already, you probably don't need the Mini Love palette unless you want to try out Natasha Denona formula or you want to have a little bit more variety in um, texture. So they, there is a dual chrome in here. This is a matte. These two are shimmers and this is a matte with glitter in it, but it barely show up. So make sure you check out part one of the review for this love mini love palette where I do three different looks. I try to see how versatile it is. I want to see how many different looks can I create. That's it for this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment down below what you think of these two palettes. Which one do you prefer? Can you tell the difference on my eyes? Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content and looking forward to see the next video. I hope you have a wonderful day, wonderful night. I will see you in my next video. Until next time, stay positive.